everybody, Brian Shannon from alphatrends.net. Let's take a look at this S&P 500 as of the close on Thursday, the 8th of April, 2010. Uh, uh, today we had the market sell off a little bit on the open. Uh, it, it gapped lower and uh, found some support just above that bigger level we've been watching at 117.50. Uh, in fact, you can see it was basically the uh, daily S1 level uh, at 63 cents or so that held as support for the, for the market. And we had that initial indecision the daily volume weighted average price went kind of sideways and once we broke the high end of the range for the day uh, that level then became support we can't we went up and closed the gap from yesterday uh, and the two-day volume weighted average price acted as a, a, a very uh, short-term level where we had found some resistance and that was if you remember also approximately equal to this uh, level here which has been that uh, uh, support that uh, was broken uh, on uh, Wednesday afternoon at about 118.30 35-ish or so. So we got up through that level. The market held above it. So once again, the people who uh, got nervous and expected the market to sell off and uh, you know calling the top once again were proven wrong. So this market continues to rally. We'll now look at uh, today's low as an important level because when we look at that 30-minute time frame and again what we've been calling the essence of trend, that trend line was pretty much hit at the S1 level and just above that prior important 117.50 level that this market has been finding resistance uh, and then support right here as it uh, got back above that that five day rising five day moving average held as support so the five day moving average continues to rise and generally when the market's even below it if the five day moving average is advancing you generally give the benefit of the doubt to the buyers but that just kind of turns the light a little bit cautious and you say well if it continues lower then what do we look for we look for the bigger levels such as the trend line and 117.50 to hold the support and then if that level breaks, then we look for the next areas. But right now, that doesn't seem likely. Uh, in other words, it doesn't seem likely that we would uh, expect that uh, 117.50 level to fail. If, however, it did, then there would be uh, we would want to become a lot more cautious and, and um, you know maybe move a little bit to the sidelines uh, in this market. But again, we're in an uptrend uh, today. We had the advanced decline line pretty much flat. So really, um, it would have been nice to see bigger uh, movement there but we had some really nice winners uh, so looking at the uh, market for tomorrow um, you know we've got the highs here at uh, 112 30 ish or 119 30 ish rather that's the highs for the year so we're still clearly in a very nice uptrend uh, still looking at the uh, potential for this uh, low back in September or July of 08 at uh, uh, 120.02 to be tested and of course the bigger picture um, just as far as this uh, Fibonacci level uh, up near about 123 or so so we continue to see a very strong market and uh, it remains innocent till proven guilty and uh, that'll do it for now